And hi there, and thank you for joining me for another Dr. Phone video. So iPad has revolutionized the world of portable media devices thanks to its sleek design, powerful processor, and brilliantly large screen. They kept improving the product year after year, and just when most of us had reached our technological pinnacle, they released the Magic Keyboard. So adding the Magic Keyboard expands its functionality, turning it into a potent and portable productivity tool. So to spice things up, they even included many tracks trackpad and a keyboard with it. So what do you do if you've grown accustomed to using a magic keyboard, but then one day you just discover that its trackpad doesn't really work? So this is a question that I intend to address in this video. But before we get into the depths of that, kindly click on that like button and remember to enable your notifications so that you may be notified whenever I post more solution providing videos just like this one. So as our tradition, I would like to start by looking at the causes of the problem before talking about the solution. So in addition to this, do you mind spending a few moments to fill out the questionnaire in the description? We'd like to know if you're available for our interview. For every person willing to attend our interview, we will give out free licenses to the interview participant. Now let's dive right in. So what are the causes behind Apple Magic Keyboard Trackpad not working? So no matter how much you wish otherwise, the odds are always against you. If something can go wrong, it eventually will. Not only that, but it's quite possible that it'll give out on you right when you need it the most. It's strange how things turn out, huh? And what, pray tell, could be the matter with that? Why does the Magic Keyboard suddenly stop responding when it comes to the trackpad? And how can you revive it? Can it even be fixed? Okay, well, there are going to be a couple of things here to address, so let's see how many of these we can actually tackle. So many users have taken to the web in searching of an answer to the mystery of why the trackpad on their Magic Keyboards has suddenly ceased functioning. Some claim that it occurred after they used the trackpad to wake up their iPads. For some people, the Magic Keyboard stops functioning because they have gotten into the habit of waking up their iPads using the trackpad itself. Through trial and error, some some have succeeded in getting it to work again. Users have reported success with the keyboard, but difficulties using the Magic Keyboard's trackpad still remain. So is there a way to repair the problem where the trackpad on my Magic Keyboard won't work? Due to Apple's lack of belief that there is an issue, no official remedies are available. It's possible that this is related to the software faults that are causing trackpad problems, and Apple doesn't really think it's ready for general consumption just yet. Before you give up and call Apple, we have compiled all user experiences and simplify the, the strategies to try to get the Magic Keyboard trackpad functional again. So five fixes for iPad Magic Keyboard trackpad not working. So in this part, I will teach you five different methods to repair the trackpad malfunction on your iPad Magic Keyboard. While some people may find success with one or more of these strategies, it is important to keep in mind that your mileage may very well vary here. So fix number one, just restart your iPad. So restarting the faulty gear is a common initial step because it's simple and often just very effective. The trackpad on the keyboard should start working again after restarting the iPad as it is merely an accessory. So depending on which iPad model you have, here's going to be how to restart it. So for iPads that do have a home button, you should use these steps for now. So step one is going to be that when the slider displays, just press and hold the top button while dragging it to shut off the iPad. Step two is going to be to press and hold the top button to restart the iPad. For iPads without a home button, you should use these steps instead. First, while holding the power button, press and hold any volume key until the slider shows. To power down your iPad, just drag the slider. So power down your iPad by pressing the power button from there. Fix number two, disconnect and reconnect the keyboard. So since the Magic Keyboard is optional, you can try unplugging it and plugging it back in to the iPad to see if that resolves the problem. Don't press the trackpad to wake the iPad. If the Magic Keyboard is connected to a computer via USB-C, you should also disconnect that cable too. Fix number three, clean the smart connector. So as good a time as any to break out the disinfectant is going to be right now. Clean magnetic smart connectors between the iPad and the Magic Keyboard are essential to prevent problems like the iPad Magic Keyboard trackpad not functioning, which can occur if the connectors are dirty. To disinfect the iPad and keyboard smart connections, just follow these steps coming right up. So step one is just going to be to remove the Magic Keyboard from the iPad. Dab a piece of cotton with a gentle, non-abrasive, 
non corrosive cleaning agents with around 70% alcohol concentration. Pre moisten cleaning wipes could also potentially be useful for this particular purpose. So use it to gently clean the iPad's exterior, starting with a smart connector, and then repeat the process for the Magic Keyboard itself, obviously trying to be careful with the material itself, beginning with the connectors here. Then reconnect your iPad to the Magic Keyboard to see if that solves the issue for you. Fix number four, reset all settings. So to fix OS corruptions and bugs that prevent the iPad Magic Keyboard trackpad from functioning, resetting the iPad settings may actually be the best option. So here's how to wipe your iPad completely clean and essentially make it so that it will operate just fine with, ju with just about any accessory. So navigate to settings, general, transfer or reset iPad and select reset, select reset all settings, confirm the reset of all settings from there. So during the iPad's restart, all its settings will be erased and reapplied to factory default. I'm crossing my fingers that this keyboard's trackpad will be functional right after this. Fix number five, update iPad OS. If you want to use a magic keyboard with your iPad, Apple does recommend updating to iPad OS 14.5 or later. It's conceivable that your iPad's version just needs to be updated to detect the keyboard fully. Apple needs to specify whether or not the version is required or the iPad is recognized by the keyboard itself. So maintaining a current iOS version on your iPad is a must. So use Wondershare Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS to repair and update iPad easily from here. This is going to be a key part. So because of a limitation in the Apple approach, as I have already explained in this video, if your iPad is already running the most recent version of iPad OS, you are able to reinstall it after first erasing all of the user data on the device. To speak officially of it, at least, you will first need to download the files for the iPad's firmware before you will be able to perform the upgrade, which may be outside of your comfort zone. So how about if we show you how to achieve that in just a few clicks with directions that are easy to follow and an explanation of what is happening at each stage. So the gifted mortals at Wondershare Company have created a godsend in the form of a tool known as Dr. Phone. So this software is, is comprised of modules, and each module is intended to carry out a specific set of responsibilities, most effectively and exhaustively feasible. So this is going to be through the necessary tool of Wondershare Dr. Phone, and we're going to use this in order to repair iPad OS from there. So step one is going to be to install Dr. Phone. Then connect your iPad to your computer using the data wire and launch Dr. Phone. Then select System Repair Module, then choose Standard Mode to restore or repair iPad OS without erasing any user data. This will complete this step. So here is going to be a very helpful hint. If you want to back up your user data, you can use Dr. Phone's backup module, by the way. Now the user software will now display the model of your iPad as well as the firmware version on this screen. So using the drop down menu, just select the firmware to be downloaded and installed, and then click the start button. After the download is finished, you will want to move on to the next step, which is going to be when Dr. Phone will ask for your opinion before verifying the firmware and then go ahead and select fix now from there. So when the procedure is finished, the iPad will restart the settings that were there when it was first manufactured. As soon as you attach the magic keyboard, let's hope that the trackpad now starts functioning properly. So now that we're here, why don't you take a shot at winning any of our giveaway prizes? So in order to win, the very first thing that you have to do is just make sure to follow both accounts and leave a comment on this video. Then join the campaign that will be randomly selected from Gleam. So the first prize goes for $800 and the second prize of $100 for two people. The third prize is five licenses for Dr. Phone and Mobile Trans combined. That is something absolutely amazing and we really look forward to giving these away to you guys. Now this campaign is going to begin on the 20th of November and is scheduled to end on the 31st of December. That should be enough time to get some lucky people to go home with our prizes. Now with that, we come to the end of today's video. I strongly recommend that you try the Dr phone repair tool for all of your mobile phone software related repairs. Now the best part about Dr. Phone is that it can repair all phones regardless of their operating system. It is easy to navigate, stress free, and just very easy to use. So please make sure to subscribe to our channel as well because it really does support us. Now I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers!